I was inspired to do physics because I really liked maths in a way that it explains the world. You could write an equation and predict something in the real world, which is really cool. Currently, it's a really difficult challenge in medicine to detect breast cancer. What I'm doing in my research is developing a technique that could help to detect it at an early stage. The earlier you catch something like this, the better your chances are. Current techniques in biomedical imaging are ones like ultrasound. You've seen an ultrasound of a child in utero. Um, you can detect different surfaces inside whatever you're looking at, but you can't get any of the optical properties, so things like colour doesn't show up. There's also other techniques that use lasers, where you can get these, uh, what we call optical properties, that can tell us a lot of diagnostic information. But you can't look very deep into something with lasers, so our technique combines the benefits of both of these for deep tissue imaging with optical properties. I'll show you the concept. So we start off with a tank of milky water. You can't really see anything inside it and this is representing the human tissue that we want to look inside. And we have a ultrasound transducer which makes an ultrasound wave in the water and it kind of makes what we call an ultrasound bullet. So it's this small amount of water that's been vibrating. So this ultrasound transducer would be the transducer that you put on the outside of a person to take your image. What we do is we shine a laser onto this milky water and it disperses, it diffuses through the milk bouncing off all the particles and anything that goes through the ultrasound and interacts with it changes its frequency or its colour. So anything that goes through there is now a slightly different colour of light. And of course there's lots of other light coming through from other parts. So what we need to do is just detect this shifted light. So we collect all that up with a lens and focus it on this cool little quantum crystal which we uh, pulse a laser on to make it into a quantum memory. And so all this light that comes on here and some of the shifted light, of all that light, only the light that's been shifted is stored in this quantum memory. So it stays here for a small amount of time um, the rest of the light comes out, and then a little time later, we get the shifted light coming out. And what we see is all the regular light coming out, and then a small amount of shifted light coming out. And this is what we want to detect. Getting the signal is kind of a proof of concept that it could lead to really great advancements in this imaging technique. So there's lots of interest in this technique around the world from lots of research groups. We have a unique solution that we think is going to give the best results. The best thing about it is when everything works together and the theory aligns with your experiment and you get a signal and you do all the tests you're supposed to and you predicted it right and it's a really magical moment and you think the universe works. <laughs>